Hi, everybody. It's Linda from So What's New and Yarn 2. And especially yarn. Because today, you have to see the happiest person in the universe. Because yesterday, in came Malbrigo. And so, watch the smile on Kathy's face. <laughs> so excited about this. Customers have been asking a long time for the Malabrigo. We've been promising it for a long time. And now for Galentine's Day, happy Galentine's Day. We have, yes, the day before Valentine's is Galentine's Day, Linda. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Who in. knew? For some Malabrigo, we have their Benito yarn, which is a fingering weight yarn. They only produce this once a year. So once this is gone, it's gone until next year. Isn't it beautiful? It comes in, well, we have all of these beautiful colors. Then this is the, their worsted. It is the, once I get behind this thing, I can never think, the Rios. This is their workhorse yarn. It is a worsted weight superwash yarn. It is so nice and soft. The colors are beautiful. And we also would like all of you to tell us what are your favorite Malabrigo yarns because in future orders we can order what our customers would like. We, um, I know everyone loves Rasta. We have been waiting. There is no Rasta in stock. So that cannot be had, but that will be coming in the future. So anything else you'd like, let us know. Um, I am so happy. Come in for Galentine's Day. Get yourself some Malabrigo yarn. We also have, uh, we did a refresh on our Plymouth Encore. We did a refresh on our El Array Cozy Alpacas. So come in. We look forward to seeing you. Get ready for the snowstorms this next week. And <laughs> yeah, and what? Wait, what? wait. What? You're wearing this fantastic hat and cowl. Oh, and Tell cowl. me about it. Okay, this is. Uh, these are classes that I've had. So it has the beautiful the Latvian braids on this cowl and the color work. I just love, love, love this cowl. This hat was. Only a two color hat, but I added colors to get it to match my cowl. The same thing, I just absolutely love this. So if anyone is interested in taking a class for either or both of these, give us a call. Alrighty. Alrighty, is that it? Just so the big excitement from so what's new with yarn too mm. much yarn is Malbrigo. And it is beautiful. Now, there's something interesting about the Malbrigo that you said, Kathy, and or as I was unpacking mm -hmm. it, is the dye lots. There are no dye lots. Why? Right. There are no dye lots because in hand-dyed yarn, it's impossible to, to match the yarns. They have special setups that they try to get it as close as they can. When you use this, if you're making a garment, you may want to alternate rows to to sort of blend it in. Um, so I, within a within a bag, because uh -huh. uh, we get them by packs of ten, right, the right. Rios anyway. So within a bag, you could have several dot uh, several. Well, they don't have dye lots. Right, so they just have an approximate color in each bag but of 10. you could see, I mean, they all look so close. So I never really, I shouldn't say this, I never really worried too much about it and have not had a problem. But, you know, if you were making a sweater, you'd probably want to alternate so that you don't see a line in that. They're also very environmentally friendly. So they have their sheep, our free range sheep in, uh, in Uruguay. They're supposed to have the softest wool that you can get. They, um, they also use wind power for the electricity. They use very low water and almost no chemicals. So Ooh. you need some for dyeing, but. Uh, yeah, so yeah. It, but it's not organic dyeing, is it? No, no. Okay. And but friendly chemicals. Yes. Are there friendly chemicals? Never mind. That is a rhetorical question. <laughs> and they also give work to 
people that would not have in Uruguay would not have jobs otherwise. So they're very friendly to the people that live in the area and people in Uruguay actually can't afford Malabrigo yarn, which is why it's shipped to Europe and the United States. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. No, no. So they usually use acrylics. Acrylics there, yep. Acrylics are cheaper? Yes, yes. This is beautiful wool yarn. Another interesting fact, Malabrigo just started in 2005. It was two brothers dyeing yarn in their kitchen. So most, most hand dyeing can only be like small markets and they're one of the few companies that has been able to hand dye and have such a wide market. Oh, so that's why it is so hard sometimes to get their product. Right. Now, I'm fascinated that you said that the finito is only made once a year mm -hmm. because it isn't the dyeing that's the issue. It's the size of the yarn that's spun, correct? Well... Because the colors yes. were the same. I, I, there's an indecito yes. in both the Rios and the... And the finito, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see? Yep, yep. They're both the same color grouping. Right. So it's, I'm fascinated that they only spun the size once. So, yeah, I'm just curious. Right, so they have other fingering weight yarn. So the reason I knew they only did this one once a year is the label says so. <laughs> it says it comes from the finest Uruguayan wool available in commercial volumes. And it only comes to market once a year in limited quantities. Okay. So we just got lucky with this. I didn't know that when I ordered it. <laughs> well, also, with, it must be the same sort of thing with the Rasta, which is why we are not able to yes, get it. Yes, yes. I know. The Rasta is a very hot commodity during the winter for hats and cowls. It's absolutely beautiful and works up so quickly. So we'll do be ready for it for next winter. Mm -hmm, yep, yep. Okay, so look for your Rasta in 2022. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess what I'm thinking is we probably have to order it early. So yeah. maybe in the summer we'll be getting Rasta. <laughs> okay. okay, and making room for it. Yes, yes. Okay, so from So What's New and, and Yarn 2. <laughs> Bye.